Okay, we're rolling. So this is, um, I've had a few people ask me how um, I paint the Jekyll lanterns. So this, John builds them, my husband builds them for me, and he gives them to me to paint. So he gives them me with the base on, so I've just put some tape around that, and I've just painted uh, the sides. And he also sprays the front and sprays in the eyes and the mouth. Uh, so I don't have to fiddle about with a brush in there. Well, we do a bit, but not so much. So I've painted all three sides. I've got the hat here, which is uh, removable. This is the lid, so you can put your light in there. And we find, we used to stain it all, but we just stain the tops and the bottoms now. We find it lights up better with it being there. Uh, light inside so there's different techniques you can do um, you can paint it all solid and it'll just look nice like a nice lantern or you can distress it um, and you can do that one or two ways you can distress it while you're painting or you can distress it after you've painted it so I kind of do a bit of both and I just um, no two are ever the same so I just um, yeah, I just play with it until I get what what looks good. So I'm kind of at an awkward angle here painting it, but I'm just going to... You don't want to get orange in your teeth and your eyes and stuff, so I kind of keep my brush straight. A bit more paint on there. I'm going to have to turn it a little bit towards me. So just with your paintbrush kind of straight up just paint it until you get the desired effect that you want and if you do get some inside your eyes and stuff you can always uh, um, grab a baby wipe and just wipe that off you want to be careful around the teeth See, like, I don't know if you can see, but like here, like I like that bit there, how oh, it's gone there, so I'll keep that. Like you can see, they all come out different, so. And there's no right or wrong way of doing it. It's whatever you think looks the best. Come a little bit, a little extra bit. So. Okay, so you could either leave it like that, and I do leave. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I do leave some of them like this. Or you can go for an even more scarier look. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to dry the front of it. Um, 
I actually sell pen. Um, I use mineral pen, Fusion. Don't know if anybody's heard of it. It's good for outdoors and it has a top coating and has a primer too. So you can you. It's a, a nice one step pen. And I also use Melange. This is a really nice color from Melange. A nice fall color. Okay, so um, so that's about dry there. Uh, the wood, uh, this is an 8 inch, um, there's no, really no right way or wrong way to do it, it's whatever size you want to do them, this one's the largest one we do at 12 inches. So now I'm going to, uh, if you have got any little bits of orange in your eyes and stuff you can uh, touch them up now. So to make it more scarier. You just want to, oh, there's too much paint on there. You just want to distress it a little bit. And I like to go around the eyes. I'm at an awkward angle here. It's much quicker when I can do it <laughs> straight on. But just go around the eyes until you get your, what you feel good when you're happy with it. If you go wrong, you can always wipe it up with a baby wipe. Uh, go around the teeth. And the nose. Some people like them scary and some people like them just solid. So it's just personal preference. We sell both. And I like to just pull it down at the top a little bit. On the bottom. And just make sure it's balanced. Just get it how you like it to look. you go wrong, just let it dry and paint it over again. I'm just using a flat brush, but you can really use any brush. You want a smaller one now. Now the darker you do it, the more scarier it's going to look. So I'm quite happy with that. Don't know if you can see it there. So I bought these from Amazon um, and I got the wrong sizes. They came really small because I wanted to do some Christmas decorations and these are too small. So I painted, uh, just painted black. I've got a chalk pen and I'm just going to write on it, write on it whatever you want, boo or I'll put eek on this one. Like that. Get some. Uh, where's my string? What did I do with my string? My keys here. This string is a bit tight for the hole, but. So I just twist that through the whole string, twist it, my hands are always like this. Fighting with this one, twist it a bit more, there we go. And then just thread that through there, like this, and then I'm going to put that on the hat. It just gives it a little extra touch. I'm going to tie that to the hat. I 
and we just use the dollar star tea lights um, uh, they work great they really light up the faces so the hat sits on okay. take the tape off We've got some workshops of these, um, set of three, at the end of September, set of three lanterns. So if you do have space, you can teach people how to do them. We have quite a lot of people signed up. And there you have it. There's, uh, there's another one finished. Might be better that way. Got a load of them outside there. Hey, thanks for watching.